Good evening, folks. Welcome to Digital Flash Fire. I know we've been away for a long time. We're going to try to get back into things. Tonight, we're going to feature a battle from the Tier 9 Friedrich de Grossa, the Fat Freddy. As you can see, I've got the wonderful Halloween scheme, getting some Commander XP on it. This is a Tier 9 match on Warrior's Path. One of the nice things about the Tier 9, Tier 10 ships is your top tier. Most of the time, even Tier 9... Your top tier probably ha a little less than half the time. Looking at the list, there are three destroyers in this fight. Two are on our team. There are more cruisers in this fight, and I don't particularly care too much about cruisers. There are carriers, but a ranger is not my biggest concern. Um, it's a much lower tier ship, and doesn't have the really nasty uh, um, doesn't have the really nasty torpedo bombers that are just the death of German battleships. Now the tier 9 the, the Fat Freddy is not perfectly in line with the tier 7 and the tier 8 with the uh, the, the Nysenaw and the Sharn or yeah, the Nysenaw, the Sharn Horse, the Turpets, and the Bismarck are really manly, get in your face brawlers. Especially the Turpets with those shotgun torpedoes that can just absolutely wreck people. So, this ship, the guns are oh my god, derpy. I. This battle is not representative of what the guns usually do. Typically, they are dreadfully bad. Um, in this battle, they actually perform pretty well. But as you can see, I mean, it's it's eight guns. It's they're they're just over sixteen inch. They're not awful, but for battleship guns, they are pretty bad. As you can see, the enemy team, they've snuck a destroyer into sea. Or not a destroyer, they've snuck a cruiser into sea. But most of their team is splitting between A and B. Now, I take a shot here, not realizing it was slowing down. I ram the Baltimore. And I spot the San Louis. I'm behind the New Orleans, because the New Orleans, I know, is probably going to get into cover. If he doesn't get into cover, oh wait, never mind, he's dead. A uh, nice salvo from our Azumo gets him. Now, I had been planning to press in the gap between Alpha and Bravo caps, but at this point, I'm kind of looking at the map, and I mean, I want to support the guys at A. I don't want them to get obliterated, and I don't want our carrier to get wrecked. But there's not a whole lot there. And at this point, I have a missed opportunity. I'm going to shoot at the Turpets and look at the San Luis. Oh my goodness. Put my secondaries on him and I begin to get the hell out of dodge because look at that. That's what these guns do all the time. Well aimed shot. Nothing wrong with my aim. They just missed. And at this tier, you cannot press it. There are too many guns. There are too many torpedoes. There are too many things working against you trying to press in. Now, I'm, I'm trying to get unspotted here. I do not have Concealment Expert on this ship. I do not have the uh, Concealment Module on this ship. I actually have Target Acquisition. Probably going to have to change that one of these days, but probably not going to do it until I get to the, the, the Grosser Curve first. So I'm looking for targets. I've got the York here. Get all four guns on him, waiting for him to turn. I actually prefer to shoot at cruisers that are turning towards me that I think are just going to settle on that course when they're actually going to be right at me. It just, you get fewer overpens, and these guns really don't. They're not reliable enough to sit down. Now, we've only got one cap. But our team is very well concentrated, and they're still moving closer together. So we're going to press in on the Bravo cap. We're going to go after Fat Freddy on their team. Or, yeah, Fat Freddy on their team. 
because he doesn't have the support of most of his team. Most of his team has moved off this way, where he only has a couple of cruisers and probably that destroyer over here, and there's not there's a lot of places to hide. Uh, secondaries open up on the San Luis again. Wonderful rapid fire guns. I put some shots into him, hoping he'll turn away. He helps a little. The guns are awful, but I do land two hits on him for another 4k damage. And at this point, I switch everything on to the Fat Freddy. He's about to do what I usually do, which is overextend. All of his support is running away. He should not be advancing at this point. He should have been turning back a while ago, but he didn't. And so I get a pretty good salvo, two pens, four over pens. My secondaries start raking him. You can see, look at all the firepower coming from my secondaries. Pouring into him, landing in that area that isn't on fire yet, so we're going to hopefully start some more fires on him. Peek at the shells going in, they just go over, that was my fault there. Aimed a little high on him, trying to hit a superstructure, but they were, he was already too far ahead of them. I've got my repair part, party going. I'm not using the damage control yet. It's only one fire. It's only got about 30 seconds left. San Luis continues to run away. I lobbed some shots out there. Not terribly well aimed. I didn't have a really good angle. But, two more pens. I'll take it. And the Fat Freddy now is finally pulling back but he is taking an awful lot of fire doing it. And you know, the, the carrier, you can see the uh, strike from the Saipan is coming in. Um, only one wave of torpedo bombers, but they got all three torpedoes off. Even if only one plane got away. And it is hard to dodge torpedoes in Fat Freddy. See, he's on 12,000. And you see that bit of red? If you see that red on a German battleship, that is his citadel. And he's healing over, he's turning towards me. You can still see it just peeking out, and that means boom. Gratuitous citadel. I'm still detected, of course, but nothing on their team is looking at me. All of the, the ships around A are looking at our ships running away at A. Including the San Luis that I just, I can't quite seem to finish off. Those shots were not well aimed, but again, in this ship you don't have to have perfect aim. Some of them are going to hit, some of them are going to miss, it doesn't matter. Now, I was stunned by this Kutuzov. I had no idea this guy was here. And my guns are almost reloaded, but they're literally facing the wrong side of the ship. So... He eats a Citadel from probably the Azumo. My guns are just absolutely blazing away my secondaries. Set him on fire, always a good feeling. Which he does not damage control right away, he lets it burn for a little bit. And he finally puts it out. I get a shot off, he's turning towards me again. Eight shots out, perfect target. Two overpens in a Citadel. 15,000 damage. The San Luis continues to run away. The Iowa. Now, I've just turned my guns around, and I already want to turn them around again. Fortunately, the Germans have invented WD-40 at this point, and I I'm indecisive at this point, but I make the inevitable decision. I at this point, I almost make a mistake. I turn west when I need to be turning north because I don't really want to close the range too much. I'm just splitting my fire between the San Luis and the York. And the Kutuzov gets... Oh, the Lion King. Okay. And we straddle the almost dead York. And at this point, I finally realize that it is time to get the hell out of here. Put some more shots out of the York. 
as I start to run. The Azumo gets the York. That was probably my next Citadel coming up. Just keeping in the theme of unnecessary damage. Put some secondaries on the Baltimore. Of course, it does nothing. Now, their team is finally pushing through A, but I don't know what they... You know, at this point, they need to be destroying ships. The, the point totals are not even close to what they need to be for them to... Um, catch up just by getting one cap point. At this point, I'm heading north. Most of their team is heading away. Just the San Luis the, and the Azumo up here. And I don't know what was up with this Azumo. I... He's not moving. You can't see any smoke, but his guns are not pointed for and aft. His guns are tracking something. I do some wonderful landscaping. I spot the Ranger. And I hate carriers, so I'm going to go ahead and fire some terribly aimed shots at him. Um, I've got my secondaries on the San Luis. I can't quite get him in range for that, so we're going to just not have secondaries going off, and they could have been pounding the Azumo. Um, and you can see his guns are aiming somewhere. I mean, now they're returning to fore and aft. Put some nice penetrating hits on him. Split my guns. You can hear my sonar going off. I was really worried about torpedoes coming from some of those ships at A. I don't actually think there's anything that could have launched torpedoes at me, but hey. Get some more shots into the Azumo, trying to finish him off. As the San Luis continues to run away. At this point, I don't want to get into a race with this guy. His guns are much more reliable than mine. So I've realized that the Azumo, whether he's AFK or not, it doesn't really matter. He's not contributing anything to the fight. He's not shooting at anyone. So I'm going to start pumping shots into the Ranger. Now, higher tier carriers have enough armor to be dangerous to them. You can get penetrating hits. You can get citadels on them. Yes, you can still get over. You can hear my uh, guns finally opened up. Scoring hits and setting on fire, and he blows up. So, some more over pens down near the waterline. Torpedoes way behind me, but that's, again, what my hydro was for. Way up in the smokestacks, but did get a uh, penetrating hit as opposed to an over pen. Now he has turned away from me, and he's increasing the amount of armor, and he's also letting me, boom, drop it right into that tasty citadel to finish the match. So, of course it's a victory. Um, 45 main gun hits, uh, one plane shot down, sank two enemy ships, the uh, Fat Freddy and the Ranger, only set three fires, uh, three citadel hits, Couple of defense, 96 secondary hits. More secondary hits than I really expected to get out of this game, but not as many as you'd see in a game in something like a Bismarck or even a Nice and Now. Um, came in second on my team, the Azumo, who got like Dreadnought, Fireproof, all that good stuff, came in quite a bit ahead of me. Uh, 53 damage on the Fat Freddy. 28,000 on the Ranger, 19,000 on the Kutyazov, 18,000 on the San Luis, uh, 17,000 on the Azumo, 4,000 on the uh, enemy Turpits. I guess if I got a bit more damage on him, I'd probably get a, gotten a high caliber and boosted my experience up a little bit. Uh, 64 damage caused by ramming a friendly. Sorry about that. Uh, 145,000 damage, mostly with the main guns. This is the big change between the Germans at Tier 7 and Tier 8 and the Germans at Tier 9 and Tier 10 is you just don't get the massive secondary damage. I only got about 20,000, 20, about 22,000 damage out of my secondaries between the fires and the actual guns themselves. Um, credits, 
yeah, I'm still running premium. I've got uh, 6,500 experience, uh, 16,000 commander experience due to the flags, and 119,000 credits after everything. All right, folks, for Digital Flash Fire, this is Dan. Thank you very much for watching. Stick with us. There will be more content to come. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, send some comments our way, and have a great day.